All olive oils are created equal, and this morning we're going to indulge in a unique tasting experience to help make the decision a little less daunting during your next visit to the grocery store. We all got questions. There's a lot out there. So joining us this morning with helpful tips to pick the perfect olive oil for your culinary needs is founder of, of Costa Arena Extra Virgin Olive Oil from Greece, Miss Katarina Muntanos, aka Katina. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much for having me. Thank you for coming. It's so. Hi. Oh, hello, Marisol. Come on in. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. Get yourself cozy. Look at this. Look at this beautiful presentation this, we have. Uh, happening does right your here. olive oil look this good? No. We? Yeah. No. So set the record straight. How healthy is olive oil for the individual? It's really unbelievable. There are some very, very powerful health benefits mm -hmm. to early harvest extra virgin olive oil. What, okay, so what does that mean? Because yes. you know I go to the olive oil section, one says first cold press, one says cold press, one has no press at all. They just shove the olives in there. Right. Yeah. What does that mean? Okay, so all olive oil is healthy. It's a monounsaturated fat. Okay. But there's a special kind of olive oil called early harvest, which means that you actually just take the olive off the tree before it's ripe while it's still green. Mm -hmm. And what that does is preserve the natural antioxidants, they're called polyphenols, in that olive. Mm -hmm. And those antioxidants have been proven by hundreds of studies to reduce the risk of all chronic disease. Mm. Cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, heart disease, it's really such powerful stuff. I, and, you know, I feel like you think of olives and olive mm -hmm. oil, you think of, of Greece yeah. and the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah. I, I mean, I, I know this, I don't know if everybody knows it, but the Mediterranean diet, it's not a terrible one. No, it's anti-inflammatory. <laughs> yeah. It's very, very good. So this is a huge part of that. Yes. I mean, U.S. News & World Report ranked the Mediterranean diet the best diet for overall health mm -hmm. six years in a row. And they eat very plant-forward. They yeah. eat tons of olive oil. So people in the Mediterranean consume like 17 to 25 times the amount of olive oil per person than we do here in the oh, U.S. That is astounding. Yeah. Now, we're not suggesting you all go out and start chugging olive oil, no. but if you haven't added it to your diet, Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Question. What is so extra about the extra virgin? Right. <laughs> Great question. So extra virgin just means that it's the first squeeze of the olive. Ooh. So you always want extra virgin. You never want anything labeled virgin or pure. That means it's from the second or third press. It doesn't have those health benefits. So And it won't have the flavor or the aromas that come from an extra virgin. So we want extra virgin. We want cold press. Yeah. Okay, at least 50, oh my, this is a lot. There's a lot, but it's all, I'm this gonna is, need to print this out and take it with me to the grocery this store. This is all manageable. Okay. You you wanted to know Speaking about, of the grocery store. Yeah. We're that, yes. well, let, take, a, yeah. take a journey with me. We're at the supermarket. We're pushing our cart down the olive oil aisle. We see all of this. It's very overwhelming for someone like myself and Marisol yes. who are not olive oil the sommeliers. Experts, yeah. What should, what's the first thing we should be looking for when we're searching for an authentic Evu, if yeah. you will? So there's really um, a great way to taste it and know what a good olive oil is, but when you're looking at that supermarket yeah. Can't really aisle, do that in Stop and Shop. Could you but, imagine? Yeah. They'd be like, uh, miss, are you going to buy all seven of those? <laughs> <laughs> well, here are the tips. So okay. let's say you're looking at the aisle. The first thing you want to look for is the packaging. So it mm. has to be glass. glass. Never consume olive oil out of plastic. It's corrosive, and you can actually end up with microplastics mm. in the olive oil. What about oil. the tin? I've seen, like, tin the big is okay. fellas. Okay. Tins are good. Aluminum okay. tins, tin no plate plastic. cans, all mm. totally no fine. No plastic. Well, that's okay. So okay. glass that's is number one. Okay. The no. second thing you want to look, about, look at the packaging for is an opaque bottle. So you don't want light. Light is an enemy to good olive oil. So no light coming through. Okay. Uh -huh. Next, you want to look for a harvest date on the bottle. So at our brand, Costa Rica, we always print the harvest date and a best before date on the bottle. You want to make sure it's fresh. Yeah. Sometimes olive oil companies can be selling olive oil from previous harvests that are three or four years old. Interesting. Yep. And then the last thing you want to look for actually is price. So an early harvest olive, when you squeeze it, not mm -hmm. a lot of juice comes out. When you squeeze a ripe olive, a lot of juice comes out. That's why it's so much less expensive. Uh -huh. So price can actually be a really good indicator of quality in this instance. Of course, you're going to have to taste it when you come home and make sure it is, in fact, high sure. quality and taste that way, but that is a good indicator. But to that point, I, you know, if I'm cooking with olive oil, mm -hmm. right, and I'm going to saute vegetables, do I use that same olive oil that I would use to dress a salad? Mm -hmm. Because I'm taking into consideration if I'm really going to taste yes. it, I don't mind spending the extra cash. But, but if, if it's just going to be in the saute pan, maybe I That's don't. That's right. 
Yeah, so if you're going to be cooking with it, let's say you have a recipe that calls for half a cup of olive yeah. oil, you can use something lesser yeah. early harvest, so okay. slightly later harvest. So we actually have our original olive oil and an everyday. The everyday is $10 less expensive. It's oh. slightly later harvest, but still very potent, and that's what I would recommend for cooking and baking. And okay, what, what let's do you get down to brass us. tacks. Yes. We have a monocle. I don't know what's <laughs> happening here, but she's she going to walk us through it. <laughs> yes, I not a monocle. through it. So these glasses are from the New York International Olive Oil Competition. This is what the experts use to taste olive oil. Oh, look at this. The glass that you put on top is really just to keep the scent and aromas all in there so that okay. we're going to do a tasting now. I'm going to teach you how to taste like cry. an expert. This is so nice. <laughs> okay. So what you want to do first is actually cover the top of the glass with your hand and kind of swirl it around. You want to warm the olive oil a little bit in your hand Ooh. and get the aroma. Doesn't matter clockwise, counterclockwise? No, you can go either way. Even if you're in Australia, you can go. <laughs> okay. You're good. Driving the car on the other side of the road. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is bring the glass straight to your nose and take a big inhale. So. And oh. so smells like I need some crunchy bread. That's, nice. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So what you want to smell is something fresh. Oh, oh. A very sophisticated nose will pull out notes like specific fruits and vegetables. But all you really want to look for is like something grassy, I was something yeah. like say vegetables, it grass. green earthy. tomato, yeah. banana, things like that. Banana. Yeah, so oh sometimes you can get notes of banana. Okay. So you want to get those aromas. The second thing you do to make sure an olive oil is early harvest or high quality is to taste it. So let me teach you how to taste it. It feels a little ridiculous. It's a whole lesson. But what you have to do is take a little bit into your mouth and bring it to the back of your throat with air before you swallow. So you want to go. You can swirl it around a little and they go. Okay, let's see you let's do, see it. do it yeah. first. Ready? Okay. Cheers. Bottoms up. Mm -hmm. Chin down. Okay. And you hold it and back there swallow. for a second and then swallow. Yeah, okay. and you should get a slight mm. burn at the back the of your whole thing? No, no, just a just little a sip. sip. Just a sip. <laughs> Don't choke, Don't buddy. spill it on yourself either. Where's Careful. the noise? You love sound effects. There you oh. go. Oh! It does! Yeah, it tingles! It tingles.